Hey, 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 Leo, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your daily dose of love tarot. So this is going to be a reading for my Leo's sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Leo, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, please go to yoursacredscribe.etsy.com. All right, so your overall energy, Leo, let's get to it. The Innocence of Wands, the Innocence of Pentacles, and the Devil. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so let's see what the Devil has to say. We're going to get a clarifier here, and then I'm going to gaze at the cards. Three of Cups. So I connect with the animals here. So... They've been pulling me in as of late, Leo. Shredding your past fears, okay, and releasing them. So any fears that you may have had surrounding um, dating, I'm getting, because Three of Cups can be dating. Let me see the dolphins. racing towards the finish line, I feel like you want love. You're going after love and you're going after it in a very fast way. Even though this is water, it's like you're stopping to and to smell the roses. So I feel like you're on the right track here, Leo. Because you're, you're sampling, you're sampling what's out there. So the innocence of wands, Clarifying this is the Ace of Pentacles. So taking hold of an opportunity, right, that you feel from the universe. Releasing what was and embracing what is. So it's like letting go. It's that reciprocity of energy. Letting go and then receiving. And it looks like a receiver, right? That looks like a receiver. Like you're, you're receiving energy. And there seems to be like an opportunity that arises to do this. Ooh, serendipity. Some of you may have a serendipitous moment with somebody. An opportunity comes up and this sort of uh, gets you to release. That's what happens. So... The Innocence of Pentacles, it inspires you to release. And the Nine of Pentacles is clarifying the Innocence of Pentacles. And they're looking at each other. So I love that. This could be a Virgo that you're dealing with, with this serendipitous moment. Doesn't have to be. Oh, you're going to be looking at this person in awe. And Leo, you're very regal. So for you to look at somebody in awe, it's like, wow, like they really have to be shining. They have to be shining. You're looking right at them. <laughs> you're looking at each other in awe. Let me see what the... Releasing, I'm getting this, this Virgo, possible Virgo. I feel like they're releasing their singlehood or at least, okay. They feel good on their own with the nine of pentacles. This is a vibe that I'm getting, but when they meet you, it's like that gets released a little, that desire to be single and ready to mingle. They will not commit right away. Neither will you because you're sampling as they are. So it's like, you see that they're, you're keeping your, your distance, you're connecting, but you're keeping your distance. Maybe you are talking to this person at a distance, that could be. So your challenge is the Two of Swords, the Justice card, and the Ten of Wands. All right. 
Let's see. And judgment is clarifying the Ten of Wands. So let's see what the camel has to say in the Ten of Wands. A load. Carrying a load, but... That doesn't make sense. Hang on. Okay, so you're carrying this load and you've been waiting to release. Like the camel was saying, carrying a load of lushness. And I feel like you, you're wanting to release, to receive lush opportunity, like lushness. So it's like you already know what you want to receive from letting go of this Ten of Wands, letting go of this heaviness on you. It's this lushness and that is Leo, right? Lush. All right, let me see the, um, that's that alchemy. That's that transformation. The beauty, that is lush, right? Abundance. Transcendence I'm getting. So you already know you're on your way to this transcendence. You already know that you're on your way to this lushness, but it is a challenge for you to, to alchemize this. Okay. The two of swords clarifying this is the eight of cups. So walking away from that, which no longer serves you, right? Okay. It's not worth it. The bear is looking at the two of swords, looking at that and being like, I'm stuck. Something's holding me down. And I feel like it's connected to this 10 of wands and it's not worth it. This is, this is what you, the conclusion you come to. So yes, it's a challenge, but you're like, it's not worth it. I got to walk away from this, what, whatever this is holding me down. And that is this 10 of wands. So you release yourself. Clarifying the Justice card is the Seven of Swords. All right, they're saying a set of intentions that recognize how you work, how you strategize, how you move. And this is what you're doing. You're trying to figure out, you're trying to gain clarity with the Justice card and balance trying to figure out how to release, how to alchemize, how to transcend. And maybe you're, you know, you're doing things you're not telling anybody about, like you're dating, right? So maybe you're keeping uh, this information from each other, from these people, because you're figuring out your clarity, you're needing to find clarity. So it's like a necessity. You're feeling it's a necessity to do this. Your outcome is the Six of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Hermit card. So yeah, going you're going to be going within. You're going to be coming together with somebody, but the Six of Pentacles tells me, you know, there could be two people here. Let's see. I want to see what's going on. Yeah. You're going to be needing to release somebody, but let's see what the hermit has to say. Clarifying this is the four of pentacles. Yep. You're going to be looking within at whatever it is you're hanging on to. And I feel like it's these people. It could be more than two, but you narrow it down to two. I feel like some of you are almost angry to release. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to let this go right now. I'm having too much fun. Like, do I have to? That's what the squirrel is saying. I know it's going to bring me in more abundance, right? I already feel like I'm abundant, but really it's an illusion. And the squirrel, the, the, the squirrel knows that, right? You feel like you're saving for a rainy day almost, but it's like the rainy day, it's already going to be there. If that rainy day comes, that abundance will be there. You don't need to, you don't need to have extra people to replace other people, right? 
if, if something doesn't work out and that person leaves, somebody else will be there. And that's what you're recognizing. Clarifying the, the Six of Pentacles is the strength card. So having the strength to let go of individuals. Okay, slowing down that racing to the finish line. Slowing it down. Okay, because... The racing to the finish line is almost like you're taking action very quickly, very, um, what's the word? I don't know. You're, you're racing to the finish line. You're, you're coming across people and you're dating them. And you're, it's like doing without thinking. And now you're slowing that down. You're slowing it down because you're, you're thinking and you're connecting back with the heart. I feel like your heart got away from you a little bit, right? You didn't lose your heart. It got away from you. So connection to that heart space, remembering that reciprocity of energy, remembering that wheel of fortune that goes round and round. And in order for you to, to obtain that energy of the wheel of fortune, okay, you need to let go of something in order for something else to come. And this is that 10 of wands. This is that courage, having faith, having, having belief in the universe, right? That this is true. So the two of cups and the innocence of cups. recognition of another of the other and it's like once you connect right with this recognition of the other you're connecting you're clicking into that heart space they're showing me it's like it's like a puzzle piece you're clicking in and it's locked it's locked in okay and your heart is open once again that connection is there and it's not going anywhere Okay, I'm getting this swimming vibe, right? It's like releasing and it's not soaring, it's not flying, it's swimming. It's, it's, you know, going along, there's resistance along the way, but you're going through it with ease. There's a flow. That's what I'm feeling. There's a flow to your heart space now. Once you click in, it's like, oh, this is it. This is that flow. This is that, you know infinity sign here this is that reciprocity of energy that i get when i'm in love and so you will be but it's going to be a journey and a challenge and you'll make it through leo you always do so you have a good one leo i hope this resonated please drop a like below share and subscribe if you already haven't if you're interested in a reading please go to your sacredscribe.etsy.com and i will catch you on the flip side of your daily dose of Love Tarot. Namaste.